Hello YouTube, it's Nicole Dude again and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to render high definition video using Camtasia Studio 8 by 1920 by 1080 pixels in Camtasia Studio. So the first thing you have to do is import your media. For example, uh, this video one of my tutorials, previous tutorials at the timeline just ignore this, this um, you can set it to 1280 by 720 it doesn't really matter what really depends it's the way you record your video for example if your video size dimension the way you record in your screen resolution is for example mm, I don't know, look, let me see the screen resolution here. 1600, 1600 by 900. You'll have probably have to, what's it called? Um, crop it out so it'll fin fit into the 1920 by 1080 pixels because it's bigger than 1600. That's the lie. And so what you do is click produce and share you go where it says custom production settings or you can add edit a preset I recommend you just add a preset just because you're making a new one um, you click new you name it um, HD 1080 for example 1080p and you want to click MOV. Um, why MOV? Because it's the highest quality, and you have to install the QuickTime player by Apple.QuickTime.com. I, th I think it is. I'll provide a link in the description. Even though your system is 64-bit and there is no QuickTime 64-bit, uh, it'll still run it. It'll still. Um, Camtasia Studio will still use it to render your video. So you click QuickTime Options, Settings. Make sure you have H.264. Frame rate recommended. I recommend 30 frames per second. And keyframe every 30 frames. Sorry, 30 frames. And encoding. Click on Best Quality and the compressor quality put at its best you can see the preview on the right hand so if you put it on low you see it looks distorted and blurry and choppy and when you put it on best it looks very clear so then click OK size size this is important dimensions click on 1920 by 1080 HD this or you want to put HD 1920 by 1080 16 by 9 um, I honestly preferably I choose this one, the one on top preserve aspect ratio using a letterbox if required okay go to the sound settings MPEG low, MPEG low, MPEG 4 I usually ha leave it in MPEG 4 but uh, kilohertz, I think that's how you say it. It's 48. Make your uh, sound use stereo, 16 bit. Okay. That way, when, for example, your audience is using uh, headphones or earphones, your audio will be transmitted on both those headphones or earphones. Click OK, click Next. Custom size, you change this to 1920 by 1080. And click Next. If you want to include a watermark uh, f 
for demonstration purposes, I will um, use mine. I think it's here. Yes, this one. And let's preserve image size. No. Image scale, you can change how big you want your watermark or logo to be. It can also be text if you know how to put transparency in text and you can put it on a corner of your videos too if you want. And you click finish, close. Um, it might take some time to render your video because. Um, it depends on how fast your computer is and also how your video was recorded. But I usually just leave my videos in 1280 by 720 unless because my screen resolution is not that, can't be that big. So I just change my screen resolution to 1280 by 720 and... I put my um, when I edit my videos I leave it in 1280 by 720 sometimes I put it in a thousand eighty p thousand eighty pixels but that's when I actually make like a really really good tutorial or important tutorial but that's it hope you enjoyed thanks for watching this video comment like and subscribe and thank you for watching